Thank you for tuning in to Cosmic Culture Road. I am Cosmic Co, aka Coco, and we are doing the Libra reading for the month of April. Y'all gonna get it first <laughs> because I was late doing the. Well, I recorded y'all March reading, but it was forty minutes long and it split into two part and in two. It split into a two part video. And I was channeled some very specific messages in that reading. So I decided not to upload it. So technically I did it. Y'all just didn't get to see it. Um, yeah. So here we are. First up for the month of March. Um, my mind went blank. Yes, Libra, April 2019. Um, remember these are general readings. Everything will not apply for everyone. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Remember time is an illusion. Energy is fluid. Thank you. So let's get started. The Libra reading for March 2019. April 2019. It's still March, so you know I'm stuck. Um... April 2019. Like I said, time is an illusion. Energy is fluid. It's, it's, when you see it, it's meant for you to see it. <laughs> I just do monthlies so you can get an energy update. Um, yeah. So, the Libra Collective in regards to April 2019, Spirit. What message is do you have for the Libra Collective in regards to April 2019, Spirit? Allow me to be a clear channel to who deliver these messages with confidence and clarity. Thank you. I would like to thank you ahead of time because I am always grateful. All right. Four cards, six, no, five cards flew out. I'm going to put them back because that's kind of a lot to start off with. Um, if they come out again, then you know what's up. I apologize. <laughs> First up, we have the Four of Wands. This how we starting off, Libra. Along with the Four of Swords, the Ace of Swords. I'm sorry, I got something stuck in my tooth and it's really bothering me. It's like when I get on camera, I don't know what just, it's like everything just. The Ten of Cups. camera everything just starts acting up like what is going on i be trying to keep it together but it's just like no the eight of pentacles Ooh. my nose is itching my throat is itching i don't know what's going on like I was perfectly fine. I have been perfectly fine until I sat down and got in front of the camera. <laughs> like, is this something they trying to tell me? What 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 is it? The Libra Collective in regards to April 2019 spirit. Mm -mm. That's too many cards. The high priestess. No whistle. Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. Judgment. The 
the Six of Cups and the Nine of Wands. I'm getting that love is a very big factor in somebody's life right now. Like, love is a very, a <clears throat> very big factor in someone's life right now. With the Four of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the Six of Cups being here. And it's got somebody like stuck. Like, shook. The Emperor and the Ten of Wands flew out. It's like the front of my head is starting to hurt. Like it's not hurting. It's like foggy. Like. Like dizzy almost. But I'm not dizzy. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> like glazed over. Is that. The Queen of Pentacles. I don't know what it is with Libra's reading, but I feel like... I'm going to be a clear channel spirit. Because it's like, what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Because this came, same kind of thing happened in Libra's reading last time that I recorded. And it's like, I was channeling these very specific messages. And I think I like, I started the spread and then I started over in the middle of the spread. And I'm getting the urge to do the same thing now. It's like, I just want to be like, okay, fuck these cards. We're starting over. What, what needs to be said? What is it? I got to do it. Like, I have to do it. I have to... I have to, I have to, I have to, because I'm, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, work with me, bear with me, this happened last time in Libra's ring, which is kind of why I did not want to upload it, because I feel just in the middle of the spread, I stopped, start the complete spread over, and I was channeled some very specific messages, and it's almost like, Y'all yeah, know I do not allow negativity, um, only divine beings, unconditional love and light are welcome here. But it's like my third eye is like foggy and almost like glazed over. Like, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. And my nose is itching. I'm... <sighs> okay, spirit, work with me. Provide these messages with confidence and clarity. Because, baby, it's some Libra that is going to watch this that needs to receive these messages. I feel like I should have just uploaded the first video. But I didn't want to because it split into two videos. And that's, like, the hardest thing ever for me to edit. Because, as y'all can tell, I don't edit my videos much. Like, at all. <laughs> because it takes so long for them to edit. I don't know why. Like... I don't know and I'm still learning and new to it and also because I have a Chromebook laptop and you know the, the the availability of certain apps and certain programs on Chromebooks is just ridiculous like I need for Google to do something about that anyways because I didn't get completely sidetracked oh okay spirit allow me to be a clear channel for your divine messages to the Libra Collective in regards to April 2019 what is it that the Libras need to know at this current state and time? Allow me to see clearly, speak clearly, think clearly, feel clearly, and hear clearly, Spirit. What is it that the Libra Collective needs to know in regards to April 2019, Spirit? Check others. Only divine beings, unconditional love and light are welcome here today. 
to leave the collective in regards to April 2019. Okay. This is what I'm starting with. We have the King of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Y'all know I'm reading reverses. The Ace of Swords came out again. Five of Pentacles. The Five of Cups. And the Two of Pentacles. Okay. Immediately. Because I kind of got the same kind of energy last time. I should have just uploaded the freaking video. And I feel like I deleted. I just deleted it. Um, <laughs> I feel like somebody is contemplating a divorce. A breakup. It could be a divorce legally. A breakup. Whatever. Like somebody is contemplating a, a, a separation. Um... And it's like, did I say this in somebody else's reading? Or was it just the Libra reading? Because now I don't remember. I'm just going to go with it. Um, it's like somebody had been feeding you these lies and these false views, these um, illusions almost, basically. And it's like, you finally began to accept the truth. You finally, it's like you knew the truth. You knew what it really was. But you put faith and hope into this person because they were like feeding you lies basically. Like, yeah, I'm going to do this. We're going to do that. Yeah, I got you. I got this. They were presenting themselves to be the king of pentacles when really they was the page. Like, they weren't there yet. <laughs> like, at all. And it's like this person had continually let, continually let you down and um, caused you to feel hurt. Um, and I feel like this, this is in regards to finances, especially not only emotionally um, unfulfilling, but stabil like financially unfulfilling. Like you might have trusted this person with the rent to pay these bills, to go get this, to go grocery shopping. And every time they fill up short. It was like, oh, I forgot, or oh, I'm broke, oh, I meant to do da 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 oh, this came up, and it's like, dude, you had one job, like, one job, like, I feel like this is a real, like, either you you all live together, um, this is a for real marriage, like, you are married with kids, this ain't just no little brand new relationship, this is something you have invested time, energy, um, money <laughs> into, and it's like, damn, bro, you had one job. Could you at least do this for me? You claimed you was going to do this. You claimed you are going to do that. And every time I'm left out in the cold, every time I'm I'm stuck to fend for myself. Like, and it's like, you have already, you, you knew. You been knew how this person was. You knew from the jump. But you ignored the signs. You ignored their gut feeling. You ignored your intuition. And it's like, now... You got to make that decision. Either you have to or you are currently making the decision to separate, to break up, to divorce this person. Um, it's like at first you might have felt confused or could currently feel confused. But I feel like your mind is made up on it. Um, with this Five of Cups, this Judgment card, and the Nine of Pentacles. It's like you have finally decided to be by yourself, to be single, to be independent. It's like, okay, I see I can't depend on you. I can't trust you. Like, nothing. What are you here for? What are you good for? <laughs> like, basically. Um, and you have finally made the decision to separate. Um, like, I feel like the decision is done. Your mind is made up. There is no more going back and forth, trying to convince yourself, trying to believe, whatever. It's like you finally, okay, I'm just going to be, I'm, I'm doing this by myself. The Three of Pentacles in the Tower came out. That foundation, that old foundation that was not working is crumbling. It's falling. And it's not a bad thing. That's the thing. It's not a bad thing. It needs to happen. Because clearly the ground was shaky if every time you left outside, the motherfucking roof kept caving in so you stuck outside. It's like, nah, let's go on and knock all that down. We finna rebuild. We finna start over. 
like completely starting over. I'm not feeling them cards. If they come out again, then I know some. The Seven of Swords. It's crazy because normally I see this as like deception, sneakiness. But when this immediately fell out, I was like picking up the pieces. Because he's picking up the swords from the ground. He's like pick, taking them from these um, ravens almost looks like. It's like I'm picking up the pieces. Because you weren't able to do this because you didn't keep up your end of the bargain. Now I got to come behind you and pick up the pieces and put it back together. Justice. The Emperor. Mm, that's too many cards. Well, I'm taking these two. Justice and the Emperor. It's like now you are standing. I feel like you are at this place of independence. And although it might have hurt to let this person alone, to leave this person alone, you know that you are better by yourself. You know your true power. You know that you were not standing in your true power. You are not truly being, reaching your full potential by being with this person. And it's like now, okay, I'm, I'm I got this. I'm me. <laughs> the page of swords. Cause I kind of feel like while you were within the last few months years possibly of whatever this relationship was it's like you i had already had it in your head that the end was coming the end was near and it was like um okay let me stack my coins let me go ahead and get myself ready so when i chuck these deuces up i'm good like out the only reason i stayed this long is so i can get my shit together and see watch you to see if you were going to become who you needed to be and you didn't do that so now it's time for me to go <laughs> it's like I don't know. It's it's like I I was waiting on you, bro. You ain't catch up, so deuces. I was good. I was waiting on you. You ain't catch up. I'm I'm like I'm in charge. I got this. I'm getting like this very dominant, this very like powerful um energy and it's like bro I lay like I'm the money maker I'm the bread maker I can do this I'm bringing in the coin I'm emotionally stable like almost like I'm dominant but I was laying in I, like almost like you gotta let a man be a man like <laughs> I was letting a man be a man just to see if you could do it but you can't do it so let me step up and do what I gotta do like I was watching just to see if you could do it if you was really gonna do it but now, let me step up and do what I got to do. Because I'm prepared. I'm ready. <laughs> like, I'm ready. Picking up the pieces. Now I got to clean up behind your dumb ass. <laughs> like, that's really what I'm getting. I don't know. Take it how it resonates. This is for somebody because I feel like... This same message came out in the Libra reading that I just recorded. It was either the Libra reading that I recorded and did not upload or another signs reading. I'm pretty sure it was the Libra reading now. Because I'm having like this moment of deja vu. But it is at 18 minutes now. So um, I'm trying to keep it shorter than what it was to begin with the 40 minute reading that I did for y'all. But this is a very specific message for someone. I don't think that this video is going to resonate with everyone. I highly doubt that because I got a very specific channel message. Not for the first time, but for the second time. So, first off, I'm going to pull some Romance Angel Oracle cards. What final messages do you have for the Libra Collective in regards to April 2019's fear? Mm. 
Let your friends help you. Healing family issues. Playfulness. Stay optimistic about your love life and let go of control issues. Um, because I was getting, like I said, this message is for someone very, like, clearly, obviously, direct message for somebody. But as you could tell from the first reading, I was getting another energy. Because um, I feel like more so for the collective, <laughs> um, y'all are coming into this newfound, like, friendship relationship with some people. Like, you are coming across this new love, finding this new love with someone. Um... And it's like, it's very fresh, very new, very playful, flirtatious, um, like childlike energy almost. And then you have whoever is a part of this other side that is like <laughs> healing family issues. Um, not necessarily letting go of control issues. I feel like it's the opposite. That kind of resonates. <laughs> but also let your friends help you. I feel like that applies to both situations. It's okay to receive help in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Talk to people. I'm really, I was going to pull Wisdom of the Oracle, but I'm not feeling it. I'm going to pull Angels and Ancestors. Now, I'm sorry if this reading is all over the place. Like I said, this is the second time I tried to record this reading, and I'm not going to try to record it no more. Because clearly somebody needs to hear it. Um, make sure they ain't crazy or something. I don't know because I feel crazy. <laughs> um, but yes. So, like I said, time is an illusion. Energy is fluid. Take it how it resonates. I'm sorry if you feel like this did not resonate with you. Um, I do apologize. I might. I'm not going to make no promises like I said. Give y'all another reading for the month of April. But I really feel like I have to go ahead and get this out the way. This channel message for whoever. Um, because, like I said, clearly they needed to hear this. This is the second time that that is coming out. So. What final messages do you have for Libra in regards to April 2019, Spirit? What final messages do you have for Libra in regards to April 2019? Oracle, wait for important information. Hmm. Star Ancestor. Follow the voice of your soul. One more card. One more card, Spirit. Libra. April. Broken arrow. Embrace the energy of peace. I feel like somebody else got, I know somebody else got Oracle. Was it Taurus's reading that had Oracle? I feel like they might have Broken Arrow too. I'm not sure. No, somebody else had this though. Alright. Starting off with Oracle number 56. Be open and receptive to information. Gather facts so that you can make a decision that is in line with your integrity. The Oracle is the truth speaker and insight bringer of this deck. The ancestor who will be your best outspoken girlfriend. Someone who will tell you exactly what you need to hear to move forward. In this deck, she is rem reminiscent of the Oracle of Delphi, a psychic priestess of ancient Greece who was able to receive information and make predictions. She holds a bowl that, is sacred, that has sacred smoke rising out of it, bringing the message to look beyond all that you can see and gather information in order to make an accurate evaluation of your current situation. Angels, ancestors, and the universe are speaking to you at this time. So look and listen for important conversations, signs, and messages that will point you in the right direction. You are being guided to wait for more information before making any fast moves. Because at the moment you are letting your wants get in the way of your needs. 
There is an opportunity for you to see everything clearly at this time, but you will only be able to do so if you are willing to truly open your eyes. If you have been waiting for further information about a choice you have to make or action you have to take, don't take matters into your own hands, but let what needs to be <laughs> let what needs to be revealed be revealed. Then you'll know what to do next. Angels are supporting you. Trust them. Now we have Star Ancestor 76. Heed, the message is coming directly from your soul. The Star Ancestors is a Native American term for extraterrestrial extraterrestrial light beings who are dedicated to the to the healing and growth of the world these incredible beings are divine embodiments of love who bring wisdom from the higher realms often people feel feel a sense of connectedness when they look up into the night sky and see the stars i believe that's because they are remembering their starry connections and those and those are what is represent and those are what this card represents. The star ancestor is reminding you that you have otherworldly support and that your friends from the stars can help you if you are willing to be helped. Let your friends help you. <laughs> they can support you in connecting with and following your soul's deepest calling. There is a deeper purpose to your human journey. Not only were you born on purpose, you were born for a purpose. You were born to be a bright light in the world, and there are supporters out there in the universe sending waves of energy to guide you at this time. Information and inspiration that has been coming your way recently is not new information, but memories. Your feelings of being drawn in a particular direction are the awakening of an aspect of your soul. You are being drawn towards a road that will not only light you up, but also help you light up your corner of the world. Continue following the cosmic guidance that is coming your way. Whew. And lastly, we have Broken Arrow 120. Alright, let go of the need to defend yourself and prepare to offer peace. You are safe. I'm going to skip that part. If you have been exposed to a situation in which you have felt the need to protect yourself or defend what you feel is right, know that this is now coming to an end. With the arrival of, a, of the Broken Arrow card, you are being guided to know that the energies of light are entering to wash away all the darkness. You can drop your shields in protection. You, you are now in a situation that will honor you and honor your needs. Arguments are ending and disagreements are being resolved. Prepare to talk things through and offer peace that you would like to enjoy. In order to move forward in a fearless way, it's important for you to let go of the idea that you can be hurt by this situation and the people or the people involved because this will only work against you. Know that your angelic gods and ancestors are standing around you, protecting you and taking you lovingly forward. All right. That's all I have for you today, Libra. Thank you for tuning in to Cosmic Coat and Row. Um, check the description bar below for more information on where to find me. Instagram, Cosmic Code Row. Email me about a personal booking if you, a personal reading, not booking, a personal reading if you are interested in one. Um, email and the details are in the description box below as well feel free to like comment share and subscribe for i greatly appreciate it um i feel the love it touches my heart for real um what else i think that's it thanks for tuning in it's all love like names. <laughs>